What's up guys, how's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to completely turn off and disable iOS 26's liquid glass. You might be familiar with Apple's accessibility settings where you can go in and dial liquid glass back a little bit, but if you wanted to completely eliminate it from every aspect of the UI, even things like toggles, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, and I'm also gonna show off Apple's accessibility settings to scale it back. Just a quick note before we start this video, this only disables the liquid glass feature on iOS 26 and up. It does not add it to older devices and it does not add it to older iOS versions. This is for people that either got a new iPhone and they don't love the liquid glass changes or they updated to iOS 26 thinking they'd like it and well, there's no way back now. Since beta one, Apple has tweaked liquid glass and it's gotten better and better, but what if you just don't like it? Here's how to get rid of it. You can use Mac, Windows, and Linux, and the process is fairly similar on whatever OS you're using. Today, I'm gonna use Mac for this guide. Although this process is generally pretty safe, it's always a good idea to make sure before doing anything like this that you have a backup of your device. To disable liquid glass, today we're gonna to be using a tool called Nugget, and you can do some incredible stuff with this tool. If you're interested in hearing about all of the amazing stuff that you can do with Nugget, go ahead and check out my previous videos that I've made on the tool. If you're on Mac, download Nugget for Mac OS. If you have a newer Mac that's made after 2020, you'll likely have an M ARM-based Mac. If it's older than that, it's most likely Intel. Download it for your compatible Mac. Open the .dmg you downloaded, and once it's mounted, move Nugget over to the Applications folder. Make sure Find My iPhone is turned off in Settings. Don't worry, you can turn it back on after this process. Now just go ahead and open Nugget, and then from here you should be good to go. After you plug your device into your computer, you may need to trust it and click the reload button in Nugget. Then your device will show up. When applying customizations to your device, do not unplug it while it's applying. You will boot loop your device if you don't let Nugget do its thing. Back inside Nugget, go ahead and look for the miscellaneous section. Then go into internal settings and from there you should see the disable liquid glass option. Make sure that's checked, and then from there, go to the Apply section. Click Apply Changes, and then it should restart your device. Once the device restarts, you can see there's definitely a difference here as things look a lot less glassy. Opening a redesigned app like the App Store, you could see there's no trace of liquid glass here. Now yes, I understand liquid glass is Apple's first UI change in a long time, and people may not like it because they may not be used to it. When you remove liquid glass in this way, for some apps you even completely remove the new navigation bar. When it comes to navigating apps, liquid glass has definitely made a solid improvement here. You can definitely notice the difference in terms of app navigation, and again, this trickles down to most UI elements across the device. So you can see even something like the customize button here when I wanna add a new wallpaper looks totally different. It even works on the dock as well. And even things like toggles got a brand new iOS 26 redesign, but you can revert them back to how they used to look using this method. It's not perfect, but I actually think it does a pretty good job. But also, at the same time, you can see there are definitely some visual bugs and glitches because, well, we were not supposed to disable liquid glass in this way. Things like the camera app still seem to be the same, so while it does a decent job, it's definitely not perfect. But there is a middle ground here, and Apple actually has it built directly into iOS already. So if you wanna see what Apple's version is like, let's re-enable Liquid Glass and remove this tweak. In the Apply section, I'm gonna select Remove Tweaks, make sure Internal is checked, and then click OK. Now, as soon as the device restarts, you'll be able to see Liquid Glass once again. So completely outright disabling Liquid Glass might not be your thing. What if the problem isn't the redesign, but the problem is not being able to read a thing? Well, using Apple's built-in accessibility settings, you can scale back some of the Liquid Glass elements so it's a little bit more legible across the device. So here's how to do that. Go to settings, accessibility, and then find display and text size. Then you'll see the options reduce transparency and increase contrast. If you toggle both of those on, here's the result. You can see on the notifications there's borders here now and things look a lot more legible. However, the liquid glass effect is certainly scaled back. 
But the good thing about doing it this way is that if you go into a redesigned app, you can see that magnifying glass UI element is still present. If that's something that you like, of course, which I personally think that looks really cool. And again, these changes trickle down to most of the UI elements. You can see this is what the passcode screen looks like. And here's what the control center looks like. In the future, it is possible that Apple will allow some sort of liquid glass slider to allow you to control the overall strength of the liquid glass look, and you'll be able to dial it back to the level you like. But for now, if you're on iOS 26, these are the options you have to outright completely disable liquid glass or scale it back a little bit. Hopefully in the future, it gets better. Anyway guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. That's how to completely disable liquid glass using Nugget and also how to scale it back a little bit using Apple's internal accessibility options. If you like today's video, please make sure to hit that like button. Also go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one guys. Peace.